I saw the effect of COVID-19 on people and on their life. People are suffering. They are without jobs. People are suicidal. This is not good. We cannot continue our life like this with masks and so on. No, we have to find solution that kill that virus. Munzer builds buildings and so he's always committed to healthy buildings and when that pandemic hit us, you know, he, he, he said, how are we going to reopen our schools? How are we going to uh, bring people back to work? So the housekeeper, she made a mistake. She put cheese, you know, between the bread and put it in the toaster. And she went to clean upstairs. All of a sudden, the whole smoke coming all over. And uh, the toaster was almost on fire. You know, I said, maybe I can do the same thing, you know, by heating the air and killing that, you know, COVID-19. Munzer came with the invention to use heat. And so we turned to the Center for Texas Superconductivity at the University of Houston. And Monzer told Dr. Ran and Dr. Chu, we need to use a, a conductive metal that's porous, uh, that is able to uh, not only conduct electricity and get to a target temperature to kill uh, the coronavirus, but also that doesn't pass on that heat to the ambient air. When I first heard that they uh, use the heat uh, to kill the virus, I thought it's a very good idea, it's a pretty simple idea also because any biological stuff cannot resist the heat too much above 100 degrees C. But the detail is really how to work out a device to demonstrate that without impacting the air conditioning system. So we have been running day and night, sometimes very late, uh, sometimes very early in the morning. We work around the clock, maybe 14 hours a day. We had fight against time. That team brought the idea of using a nickel foam mesh. But the challenge was nickel foam is too electrically conducting. And with too electrically conducting, you know, the current just goes through, go, go, go by, and then without no heating. So we had to increase the resistance. And the one clear idea, increase the resistance, you increase the length. So that's why you do the pleating up and down, up and down, just like the regular filter. And that worked. I tried to put my finger next to it. Did not feel the heat. Then I made a mistake by touching it to burn my finger. It's simply a HEPA filter by design. The only difference being that the separators on the upstream side are the foamed nickel material instead of aluminum. It's taking existing building technology that we use every day in hospitals, in schools, in office buildings, and really just supercharging it for the COVID pandemic. So then we took that to Dr. Pessler and his team at the Galveston National Lab. And that was breakthrough research. It was the first time where researchers were able to show an instantaneous kill in a single pass of actual SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. So we increased the concentration of the viral load up to over 270 fold, the highest concentration that had ever been tested in the air. And we actually got even a more profound result of 99.999% kill. This invention is backed by so many labs by professors, by major universities. That led to this mobile device that can plug into the wall, designed for big spaces, small spaces, face-to-face -face encounters. I have seen Monzer involved in many different types of inventions uh, before IVP Air. He was one of the first ones to adopt using post-tensioning, which is a methodology of building concrete slabs slabs on grade, and he did a great job of it. The next invention was a skimmer, oil skimmer, after the Valdez disaster. You know, the third invention is hurricane brace for windows that withstand category four and category five. He's also one of the premier builders of uh, medical related buildings in the country. My love is classical music and conducting. 
leadership, like conducting. You need to have the right people to lead. It's like conducting an orchestra. Manzer Horani put together you know, marketing people, the medical people, all sorts of those people uh, together worked very quickly. Uh, without Manzer Horani, that's not possible, clearly. He very quickly um, mobilized a team and shepherded a team uh, to really outpace any other technology deployment uh, probably in history. Munzer did this not because he's going to make a lot of money on a device, not because he wanted fame in uh, scientific journals, but because he wants to help people who are suffering and he wants to solve a problem for the country that can't get back on its feet until the pandemic is addressed. Our research team said, you can kill anything, to include rhinovirus, influenza, and potentially future pandemics. And those people that don't think there will be other virus scares in the future, they're kidding themselves. The reality is it kills COVID. The reality is owners of real property, be it hotels, restaurants, office space, to have these in their lobby will be a competitive edge because it's, it shows that you're, you're clearing out your lobby of viruses. This is one of the greatest invention of our times. And I don't know if I would exaggerate, maybe the greatest invention of the millennium. How can we get this into our school system? How can we get this into these big venues? How can we get back to going to church and different things like that, you know, where we, we struggle right now. And um, it's tough, but this is what's needed. The S-1 system provides cleaner air, which means safer schools. We have over 90% of our students back on campus learning in classrooms with their peers and with their teachers, and it's absolutely amazing. I will tell you, I mean, I'm overwhelmed. You know, I love children a lot. All the time I spend, and all the time that I work, is worth it for me. This is the most beautiful thing I had in my life. Munzer definitely deserves a Nobel Prize. I don't think it's peace, it's maybe save the world type of prize. Because what he's invented, will change the way we live. Monza, we want you to know how grateful we are that you came up with this phenomenal invention. I want to congratulate you on your ENR Award of Excellence. I think it's pretty sensational. Monza, you always tell us we're going to Mars, but yet we have to wear a mask at home. But hopefully with IVP, just mask away. I'll be glad to get one of your filters and get rid of this permanently. So, Monzer, thank you again for your uh, work on IVP and uh, look forward to you receiving your award.